So we're going to integrate the secant of x, so right here. So most people just memorize this, and you should just memorize it, but I think it's worth going through the problem once, and I think that makes it easier to memorize. So what you do, the trick, is to multiply by secant x plus tangent x all over secant x plus tangent x dx. Then you distribute the secant x in the numerator. So we'll end up with secant times secant is secant squared x. And then secant times tangent is secant tangent. Secant x tangent x. And all of this is being divided by secant x plus tangent x. And here is where the magic happens. What this does is it allows you to make a substitution. So if you set u equal to secant x plus tangent x, let's do that. So u will be secant x plus tangent x. Then du, well, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So you get secant x tangent x. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So you get secant squared x dx. And du is right here. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful problem. So we end up with du over u. That's the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c, which is the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus a constant c. So it's a really, really nice problem. Uh, once you do it once on your own, you will never forget this formula because you know how to do it. To do this problem, you multiply by this. So if you remember how to do the problem, you'll remember the formula.